Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. Welcome everybody back to the podcast. I uh, hope everybody out there is doing well. And um, this is the week of uh, Christmas, and it's uh, crazy to think that we're we're already uh, coming close to the end of the year. Uh, I hope whatever goals you had made for uh, the year have uh, come true and that you're achieving them. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's been one heck of a year, and I hope that uh, next year will be a lot better uh, in, in all circumstances. Uh, so what I wanted to talk about today is that I, I wanted to focus on uh, a story that has been around for, like, I don't want to say it's hundreds of years, but it's just, it's been around for quite a while. Um, and you get to hear about it basically every Christmas. If, um, you know, if, it, you know, if you turn on the TV or if you go anywhere, like, uh, there's some remnants of this story in the Christmas season. And, uh, that is a Christmas carol. And, um, I want to say that, that this story is one of the uh you know great redemption s- stories that's out there it's it's it, like there's just it, it's so simple yet so impactful uh when you um you know pick it apart and so if you have not heard of this story if you have not um you know uh, if you just are not aware of it uh in in any capacity um which is is going to be a surprise because they do so many different, uh, you know, versions of, of this, uh, of this story, um, every like four or five years, there seems to be a flood of Christmas Carol, uh, related, uh, you know, movies that, that come out, um, as well as just on, on TV, they play, um, you know, some version of this, uh, uh, the story, but, um, it's uh, from Charles Dickens, and it's about this old miser, this old penny pincher, this uh, very selfish uh, individual uh, named uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. And um, the entire story takes place over the course of one night uh, in which um, his old business partner visits him, um, who has been dead for a while, uh, and says if you don't change your ways that you are going to end up, uh, in you're, you're, you're like, you're going to end up in hell. Basically, uh, you're going to be, uh, um, suffering as I'm suffering because I was a miserable miser. I was a penny pitcher. I was, uh, I took advantage of people, um, for the sake of profit and don't end up like I do. Um, and, you know, of course, uh, Scrooge kind of being a very practical, pragmatic man was like, oh, I must have, like, th- that was very weird. I, I must have, um, you know, th- like, th- th- this can't be what it is. Like, I, I just, uh, y- you know, that must have been something I ate or something like that. Um, but over the course of a night, uh, he gets visited by uh, the ghost of Christmas past, the ghost of Christmas present, and the ghost of Christmas future. And throughout the story, he gets to see what his life was like when he was younger and how he had, he was filled with so much hope. Uh, he had, you know, so much going for him. Uh, he, he was, uh, engaged to be married to, uh, a, a woman that he had met. Um, and you know, like he just let money get in the way. He let his ambition, his, uh, drive to, um, you know, succeed, get in the way of, uh, of finding like some true happiness. And, um, and so he, he kind of like gets to see like, you know, Oh, I, I you know, at some point he, he gets basically reminded, like at one point you were a, a very good person or you, you were at least somebody who, uh, you know, gave them, so, gave, you, know, you, you had the potential to like be a good person, but, um, something happened along the way and, and, you know, you, you just, you turned your focus away from things that made life good and the things that, uh, made, 
um, well, I mean, they're focusing on the Christmas season, obviously, but it's like you you, you lost that gift um, to the, that, that desire to want to give things. Um, and so, you know, he after going through um, some key points in his past, you know, he gets to see himself as a boy. He gets to see himself as a, you know, as a teenager and starting to, to work in business and 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 seeing how his his focus is really starting um, to be more about business than it is about people. And uh, he gets to see how things are at the current moment. He gets to see the the morning after, basically, where, um, you know, he, he so he has some employees that um, he treats very poorly. Uh, he doesn't pay them enough. He uh, uh, even, like, demands that they, you know, come in, um, you know, on, on Christmas and not spend time with their families. And so he gets to see the repercussions of, uh, of that, um, you know, on Christmas morning and, 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 you know, through, through the ghost of Christmas present, he like, you know, he's seen all these things of, of like, like, wow, I, I'm, my actions are really affecting the people around me right now because like, it, because I'm not giving, um, you know, my employees raises because I'm not, uh, you know, giving uh, what they need to get their jobs done. Um, you know, they're they're suffering out in the world. It's not like their life starts once they walk in the door. And so he gets to kind of see a bit of, of that and he gets to see like how things are around the world for, for people now uh, and the repercussions of like of his of of his attitude towards uh, making a profit instead of like trying to be good to people, trying to help people, and so from there he, uh, you know, the, this is taking place over the night. So every single time he comes back um, f- from, uh, you, you know, I guess a trip to the past or the pre- present, uh, he he ends up in inside of his bed and he kind of looks around and he's like, I must be dreaming. This must have been a dream. And then, um, each, each time the clock ticks a certain hour, that's when the next ghost, uh, shows up. And so the last one is Christmas future where he gets to see like, you know, how his life is resolved, uh, because of his actions, how people think of him, uh, how his employees have like really suffered a lot, uh, but they still have hope. They still um, are, you know, are they still have loving families? They still, you know, carry on, uh, it, you know, because of the fact that they're focusing on love, they're focusing on family, they're focusing on on the people around them, and not on simply just making a profit. And um, there's a key moment at the end where the. Like, like like Ebenezer is in a graveyard and he sees um you know he sees the his own tombstone and and he uh it, you know the, the the ghost who actually doesn't say anything to him which is quite uh, you know quite creepy at, le- at least in some of the uh um uh like 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 the movies that that have come out um you know he he kind of gets confronted with his own mortality and he realizes okay uh, I've been a terrible person. Uh, there's still time for me to, um, you know, to fix this. To, you know, like the there's still f- a future there that I can change, and, you know, I I don't want that. I want something else. I want something better. And so Christmas morning, he wakes up and he's just like a changed man. Basically, he, um, you know, he goes out into uh, you know, into the um, town, and he, you know, he he buys like food for, uh, you, you know, for his employees. Um, he, you know, he starts giving money away, and 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 it's it's this complete redemptive uh, arc that takes place like in a very short amount of time, and um, you know, it's as a contained story, it's very, uh, it, it can be very inspirational because it kind of you know, says to the person reading it or the person watching it, it's like the, there is always a chance to uh, reverse the, you know, the path that, that we're on. Um, you know, they, they don't actually address, a, a, you know, anything of like the long term, uh, you, you know, repercussions of, of what he's already 
you know, <laughs> like what he's already done. But, um, you know, he, the, it kind of wraps up with, you know, he, he uh, played out the rest of his days, you know, as this very generous person, and and he kind of rebuilt his, re- you know, his reputation. He uh, was good to the people around him um, for, you know, for the rest of his days, and I, I think it, in a way it's kind of like a really great um, tale. You know, obviously we can't let, let's not. Uh, apply every single piece of fiction to reality but there is a story in there that says you know no matter where you are in life it, you know if you if you do feel like you're going on the wrong path if you do feel like you know th- things are kind of you know that like life is just not not great uh and and your attitude towards life is not great like there's always a chance that um you know you can turn it around um and and also that like maybe the reason why life is not doing so so great is because of our own actions because of uh you know the choices that that we've made in the past that have kind of snowballed up to this point uh, you know i'm a, a, a for, firm believer in you know the that kind of yeah you know you put good if you put good energy out into the world it's like you may not get good energy back but at least you are you are changing the energy around you you are changing um the way in which you know people who are closed off can like open up just a little bit um i mean coming from the like somebody like myself who's so much uh, uh, of an introvert but i really love to see people laugh i love to be able to see the people around me uh feel good to um you know be positive to have like things that uh, they can look up to um, cause you know, it just, it always sucks when you see people who are just down on themselves or they don't really f- feel like life is going too great. Like I, I, I'm a deep believer in like, you can always turn it around and, you know, th- even though it's not going to be the way in which like, you know, Scrooge's life was turned around right away. I mean, he had the benefit of like having all, all the money that he had like, you know, th- had, you know, gathered over the years, you know, he was technically a rich man who was very cheap and so he had all this extra money that he could give give out to the people around him um but just in terms of uh, of like the the attitude on uh on life on 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 things that we have control over on on uh, trying to make the world around us better on trying to make the situation um around the people you know, with, with us and the people around us better. Um, it's the, the giving spirit that I, I think we can like come away from this story. Um, you know, feeling like we can do something for other people. And in, even though we may not have much, we can still, uh, you know, we can still give something of ourselves to, to other people. And it's, you know, it's not really on us doing that so that we can get something back or so that we can, um, you, you know, like change somebody else. But it's because like the being able to give to somebody else actually is the, the gift in itself. It's it's a reward that we, you know, like it makes you feel good. It There's like this emotional thing that switches inside of us that, you know, when we see that we're taking care of somebody else's needs, um, it kind of like it just it's like like something inside just feels good and you know you if you have a chance to do that if you if you have a chance to give without like any expectation of getting anything back it's like that's the best feeling in the world uh so i i want to say that this story is is like one of the the best redemption stories because the fact that scrooge comes from a very uh like you know like i said he's a rich man who's a penny pincher he's cheap um he treats everybody around him like very uh, poorly and and you know he's just a very selfish uh, human being who um you know we we do get to see that it's because of of being hurt in the past like he starts to close himself off he starts to um you know get the the sense that uh you know what's the use in in giving to other people because every single time you do like you just you you get hurt or you know like you try to do good for somebody and you don't like you, you don't get anything back and you know 
and so and also because it's like well he loves money so he's want he wants to he, he wants to, uh, you know, hoard as much as he can because that is the thing that he thinks is going to solve everything. Um, and that's not, yeah, that's not the way in which, like, uh, our lives should be. Our, our lives should be building uh, n- not a business that lasts forever, but, like, relationships and, and um, you know, building, I guess, a legacy of being a good person, of, of like, helping other people, of... Uh, making sure that you know the people around us are are you know taken care of, uh, I think is is one of the best things that, that we can do, um, because like we just we need each other. <laughs> We're social animals. We can't we can't help but but you know need each other for any number of things, and that's just the way it goes. Uh, and that and that's what you know will uh, allow people to remember you is because of the fact that like you know you do so much for other people and not and not for ourselves you know like not for yourself and because it's christmas i i think we you know very often we need that reminder um over the course of the year you know we have ups and downs we have things happen and then you know like uh we're expected to kind of like change our attitude once Christmas comes around. And, you know, for, for a time it does, you know, it does change. Uh, you know, the, it, it is nice to be able to like, uh, to find ways in which, you know, like you can give something to somebody. Um, uh, we're kind of given a license to be generous during the holidays, but like we can be generous any time of the year, uh, it doesn't matter. We can just carry on that attitude, um, you know, into, you know, the future, into uh, like like any day of our life. We can have that attitude of of, uh, of, of being generous, of, of sharing things with people, um, because, you know, especially when it when it's something that can benefit them, when it when it's something that that uh, they you can see that there's a need that needs to be addressed. It's like that's the best feeling in the world. So, uh, all right, that's all I got for today. Um, you know, like I said, it's just, it's the finding classic stories that, um, are, they, they hold like human truths. And I think that's why we, we come back to them over and over again. I think that's why we keep seeing, you know, remake or like a remake after remake after remake of, of these stories is because there's, there's something true about the the essence of the story and and um yeah you know at the i think we like to be reminded of the good in the world and and to see a character like change uh drastically is is, is always um it, as a storyteller it's it's one of the best uh you know you know things about storytelling is that you get to see a character go from from one point and then be completely changed by the end and that's you know the hero's journey that's the arc that um you know storytelling is built on and and you know you you can have a a study on on christmas carol about like the you know the different um ways in which you can build your character to the point where they they do change and things you can throw at them to you know to change them um and everything is just very concise it works with the character of scrooge and you know by the end you're like you're you're on that journey with him and so it feels you like you feel this um excitement when he finally like wakes up and he's like i need to be a good person i need to like give my money away i need to you know do all these things because i don't want my life to result in just like you know, a, a business with like just a bunch of money, like that's cold and, and dead and not like will not sustain anybody. So, um, all right, guys, that's, you know, like I said, that's all I got for today. So I uh, have a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you you celebrate this year. Uh, the year is coming to a close and, and uh, I hope that 2022 brings some great great things for you and i hope that for myself and um yeah be good to each other be safe uh you know be just get get some relaxation if you can 
and let's hit uh, 2022, um, you know, with with all the uh, the energy and power and creative fervor that we can, because um, every w- the world needs our stories and the world needs your story. So, all right, I'll talk to you on the next one. If you'd like to connect with me, there is an email for the podcast. It's tentative dot title dot with dot tim dot podcast at gmail dot com there is also a twitter account uh the uh, handle is at title underscore tim uh there is also a facebook page where you can uh post uh questions or you can um connect with me there uh thank you guys for listening i'll talk to you on the next one